Well, hello. The peanut butter box is here. The peanut butter box is here. <laughs> Hope I did that right. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> You know, e-bikes have become really commonplace in RV parks and campgrounds. It is, just within the last couple of years. Yeah, we've seen, I mean, we have a lot of friends that, that have e-bikes and they just enjoy the heck out yeah, of them. Yeah, they love them. We have bikes. We used to be bike enthusiasts. Uh, we got some pretty expensive mountain bikes. <laughs> we do. But we don't ride them anymore. No. Really. I, the last time we rode, what, was four years ago maybe? Yeah, uh, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we just don't carry them with us anymore because we're kind of getting old. I'm not getting old. Are You're you You're not getting, getting old? old? <laughs> so anyway, because so many of our friends have gone the e-bike route, uh, we were introduced to e-bikes back, well, about over three years ago. Yes. You got to take a ride on a... I did on, on an e-bike. Yeah, on a friend's bike. Yep. It was fun. It was one of those short, small, foldable, foldable. e-bikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you had a good time. I did. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Happy Fourth of July! And exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of our friends now have e-bikes, and a lot of them have the foldable small e-bikes, but we just have kind of passed them over because we're just not very small people. I'm 6'4", and you are... I'm 5'8". So... Yes, we're not tiny We're not. All. Yeah, we're not <laughs> small in stature. So if we, we decided a long time ago, if we were going to go the e-bike route, it would have to be a full-sized bicycle. So e-bikes are really a fun way to get around the campground or the RV park or see the local sites or go into town and grab some groceries or see the the sights in town or or visit friends and you know we've just kind of been watching all of our friends ride around on their e-bikes and they look like they're just having a blast i know so we just thought we want some <laughs> <laughs> so we've been we've been researching for the last three years actually yeah. uh, ever since kelly took that first ride we've been researching 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 and there's a lot to consider when you buy e-bikes a lot there is and every year they get better and better yeah they do so we've been researching a lot of different companies uh, rad uh, Hemiway um, electric yeah electric uh, we, you know we've been at when we go to the RV shows we take a look at the e-bike demonstration booths and and it just it's almost overwhelming so about three months ago a company called MagiCycle contacted us and asked us if we would be interested in trying out their e-bikes. And they actually have a full-size model that they call the Cruiser. So he was really excited about it. I was. It. I was. And so we started corresponding back and forth. But I have to tell you, every day, seriously, every day we get contacted from vendors and manufacturers wanting us to review their product online for them, their camping product or their picnic product Jewelry, or yeah, clothing. suitcases, mm -hmm. uh, travel luggage, you know, whatever the case may be. And, you know, we get contacted a lot, but our first thought, first and foremost, quite honestly, is you. You guys give us your time every week and we really appreciate that. Oh, absolutely. And so anything that we review and recommend has to pass some pretty rigorous tests from us. Well, absolutely, because if something comes back and it's not what we said it was, then it's on us. Yeah. We don't we don't want to be that those people. And you guys give us your trust. You yeah. trust us to give you good solid information and therefore when we when we research a product we spend a lot of time corresponding back and forth with the manufacturer or the vendor or whoever that may be yes. and we tell them that we need hands on the product before we'll even consider promoting it That's right. on our channel. Yeah. But we were in the market for e-bikes 
and MagiCycle, after I did my, I, I researched and researched and researched, and then we started corresponding with them for quite a while, a couple months. And then just recently, uh, their representative reached out to us and said, hey, we just came out with our new fat tire model called the Cruiser Pro. Their original model was the Cruiser, and now they have the Cruiser Pro. He said, we'd really like you guys to take a look at these and give us your thoughts. And if you like them, let your, your community know about them. MagiCycle is a company based out of China, as most of them are. And the actual owner of the company was a bike enthusiast. And he used to like to ride with his dad in the mountains until his dad got to the point where he couldn't ride anymore. So he went to work, according to their story, their background story, he went to work and came up with an e-bike for his dad and they went out for a ride with his dad's converted e-bike and his dad came back and said it was magic. It was magical. It was, what a sweet story that is. It is. So the original MagiCycle Cruiser checked all the boxes for us. It had a two-year warranty. It had a 52 volt battery. It had a color display. It had the uh, 26 by four inch fat tires. It had the large frame. It had a front headlight. It had the rear tail light and brake light. It had the rear rack. And it had the front and rear fenders, all standard. I thought that was pretty awesome, especially yeah. the brake. Yeah. The brake is really, really cool. Yeah. So their new pro version, they've upgraded a little bit. So they upgraded the brakes from mechanical or from mechanical disc to hydraulic disc. And then they upgraded their battery from a 15 amp hour to a 20 amp hour. What does that do for us? Well, it actually increases your travel distance. They claim it used to you used to be able to get 50 to 55 miles on a battery now you can go 55 to 80 miles on one charge wow i did not know that yeah that's and awesome. that's a lot of traveling that's <laughs> it is and then they also upgraded um the front forks so they had a mechanical front fork uh, it was it was a shock a mechanical shock they've upgraded that to a hydraulic front shock which is pretty nice. It is. So MagiCycle sent us a couple of their MagiCycle Cruiser Pros. They sent one for Kelly. It was a white step through. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful bikes. Oh my gosh. And then they sent one of their regular uh, Cruiser Pros in the high bar in a blue color and it's absolutely stunning as well. Absolutely. So when we got them, uh, they were shipped free the shipping is free from from MagiCycle uh, and they're based out of I believe it's San Diego California it's somewhere South California Southern California so they ship them FedEx and they come FedEx today and they were shipped amazing and well here's our unboxing and assembly of Kelly's bike and stick around to the end and we'll give you our first impressions on what we think of this new MagiCycle Cruiser Pro well, this is how it comes shipped. Um, FedEx, it was two-day FedEx out of California. And, oh my gosh, the box is beautiful. Uh, the, even the FedEx guy commented that uh, they box these really, really well and they hold up during shipping. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. First, before we get too far, there's some things you're going to need. You're going to need a garbage can because this thing is packaged very, very well, and you're going to have a lot of things that you're going to need to dispose of when you unpack it. The other thing you're going to need is some sort of a box cutter, and I'll show you why here in a second, but it's easier to drop, to cut the box open, and then work on it that way. And you're going to need some sort of nippers because it's full of zip ties. So let's get to it. Okay, as you can see in here, this thing is packaged so well, it's got plastic covers, it's got foam covers, it's just, it's, they did a really nice job packing this up. 
So before we get started, let's pull the battery out. Here's your battery. We'll get it charged here in a second. But what I really wanted you to see is how well they packed this bike in here. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous the way they packed this thing. There's no way that it can get damaged in transit. So what I recommend is that you take your box cutter, once you get it opened up, and let's just slice open the cardboard on the front corners here. Now you can kind of see how well it's packaged. So parts and pieces is probably 90% put together, but we're gonna open this up and start putting it together. The first thing you wanna do though, is you wanna gra grab your nippers and start getting to the zip ties. Okay, this is your box of accessories. You're gonna need to wanna, you're gonna wanna need to get into this. So we've got our headlight. They even give you a Magicycle cap. I like hats. They give you white gloves you can use to put it together with. A full tool kit. All the wrenches and Allen wrenches that you're going to need as well as a screwdriver. We're going to use these to put it together. And it's small enough that you can put it in your... It's small enough you can put it in your bag and take it with you. Here's the, the charger. You've got your pedals, and they are labeled right and left. And an instruction manual. Once you get all your foam pieces off and all your zip ties off, go ahead and inspect your bike. I don't see how there's any way there could be any damage to this bike the way it was packaged. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't see any scrapes. I don't see any scratches. Uh, everything seems to be in place. So let's go ahead and start putting it together. The first thing you want to do is to put on your handlebars. So the handlebars, just take off the, the front clamp and they're a butterfly style handlebar. So they're notched. So just get it kind of set in there and you'll need to do some final, some fine tuning adjustments once you get it together. But we're gonna set this one up just pretty much straight up and down and put the clamp back on. Once you get your handlebars put together, um, again, you're going to have to adjust them for your own riding style and height. But once you get the handlebars on, now it's time to put the front tire on. So this is a front fork protector. We're going to have to take it off, but before we do that, I'm going to look at your front tire, and it's got a couple of protections on it. One is this cap on the end here. It's there to help protect. The 
bolt. So you just need to pop that off, throw it away, and then the brake protector, and it also just pops off and get rid of it. Now the other thing, before you get started, is that there's a there's a small piece in here protecting the disc brakes. These are hydraulic disc brakes, and they have a spacer in here, a plastic spacer, to protect the brakes. You just pull that out. Now that you've got the brakes apart, you've got the handlebars on, you've got the wheel protectors on, are off, then you have to take off this protective fork stand. So take the nut completely off, but be careful because there's a couple of little cone springs in there. The cone spring needs to come with the cap and the small side of the cone goes in towards the fork. So when you lay it down, lay it down the way it came off and you can put it back together. Same thing on the other side. You also have a cone spring on the other side. So now this should just come right off of the fork protector, which it does. We can discard the fork protector. And now we're going to put the front tire on and this disc brake has to go between the two brake pads that we just pulled that spacer out of. Okay, so once you get the front tire put on, give it a little roll, make sure your brakes work properly. These are working good. Now we can put the kickstand down and we're ready to put on the rest of it. So let's put on the pedals. Your pedals are labeled right and left. That's because one is a left hand thread. So make sure that you do them correctly. This one's the left, this one's the right. So the left pedal. Okay, our pedals are on. Now let's put the, fend the front fender and the headlight on. So you've got a bolt and a nylock washer here up front on the front fork. Take that apart. Bring your fender up from the back underneath the bracket. Put your bolt in. And this is where we install the headlight as well. The headlight goes on the same bracket. So, we're gonna put the headlamp right there, put the washer on, and tighten up the nylock nut. It's also got blue Loctite on it. If you didn't notice, we had a little snafu. The handlebars were backwards, so the fork was backwards. So we had to loosen everything up and swing it back around. Now that we're back in place, this bike looks a whole lot better. 
So once you get your headlight and fender put on, you have a pigtail that comes down. And you connect the two red ends. It'll only go one way. There's a notch. You just press it and you're done. Now we're going to put the side brackets on. And they go on these brackets right here. And we're done. So the one thing that you do want to remember is that one, when you put your battery in the bike, the only way you can get it off is with a key and they zip tie the keys to the handlebars. When you clip those off, make sure you keep track of them because that's the only way you can get the battery off the bike. So stick them in your pocket. All right, let's put the battery in. So the battery itself has got LED lights to indicate how much power you've got. This one says it's full. I'm still gonna put it on the charge though when we're done. But there's a slot right here on the side and that slot goes right there and then the battery just snaps into place just like that. All right, let's make sure the battery works. So over here on the left, you've got a power button on the back. You've got a plus, an info, and a minus. So we're gonna push and hold the power button on the back, and it's lighting up. We've got a color display. It shows our battery at 95%. It also has the pedal assist. It has your tripometer and your speedometer and a clock. You ready to take it for a ride, Kel? Sure. Okay. First impressions. This thing has power. <laughs> <laughs> you barely, um, you know, go and and you start pedaling and it just goes. But no, it's pretty cool. I just have to get used to it. It's a big bike. Pretty awesome. So you've had a chance to ride the bike around the park a little bit. What are I your did. first thoughts? Well, I understand that I haven't ridden a bike in a few years, so I was a little nervous, hmm. but it was... It's just like riding a bike. Yes. You just get back on. You do. <laughs> you do. And after, you know, we went around, you know, quite a few times, mm -hmm. and I got comfortable with it, and I Even tell put you, it on some gravel roads. I did. I did. And it's fast. Yeah. I mean, if you love to go fast, it is fast, but you have control, which is what I like. Yeah. And, um... I, I loved it. I love it. The fat tires are are, are really nice for all terrain. Uh, we did gravel. We've done asphalt. We've done dirt. We've done. Mm -hmm. We haven't taken it on Forest Service Road yet, but we're planning to do that here in the very, very, very near future. Yes, hoping to. Yeah. Uh, but the between the four-inch fat tires and the uh, hydraulic shocks. This thing is smooth, smooth. I let one of our neighbors take a take it for a spin. He's got one of the small electrics, uh, foldable electrics, and he he came back and his eyes were about this big around. He says, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe how smooth of a ride this thing is." And he wanted one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the 55 to 80 mile range on these is accurate, and I have no reason to believe it's not, we're going to kind of put it to its test. But if it's accurate. It's a game changer for us. Oh, absolutely. We can go out on an all-day adventure um, without a whole lot of effort. I know. And it, I tell you, it's really nice because I have arthritis in my right knee. 
and when I first got on it, I was in a little pain, and it was so nice to be able to use the throttle. The throttle, and I could still join him, even if I'm having an issue with my knee for that day. Um, I, I just think it's pretty awesome. We're do. really excited to take these yeah. things out on some of the uh, national forest roads in Montana and and put them to the test. And we're yes. and we're going to put them to the test. Yes. We're going to do uphills. We're going to do downhills. We're going to do curves. We're going to do corners. We're going to do all-terrain roads. We're going to we're going to put them to the test and see how they do because that's what really, really what I enjoyed in my younger days was to get on my mountain bike and just go out in the woods and, and, and ride. And I really, really enjoyed that. And I mean, these aren't going to be as rugged as my mountain bike, but it's gonna give us a lot of enjoyment getting out and, and getting out on the Forest Service roads or getting around the parks or, or commuting into town and seeing some of the sites. I'm really excited yeah. to do that. And I get to go too. Yep. Even if I have an issue that yep. day. So I will say though, if there's one drawback, and this is not, not a knock on Magicycle at all, if there's one drawback that we've discovered, these things are heavy. They are, they're what, 76 pounds? 76 pounds on the specs, and um, so they're heavy. Yes. They are a heavy bicycle. And our regular bike rack is not gonna, it's not gonna handle that. So we're gonna have to figure out a way either to get them in the garage along with the Can-Am, or we're going to have to buy uh, a, a, a better bicycle rack for, for and they do make duty. they do make some heavy duty bike racks for e-bikes because they are heavier. So, in the short amount of time that we've had to ride these things and play with them, we're really impressed. Yes, and excited. They're they're stunning. The construction is awesome. The welds seem to be solid and and strong. The finish on them is is top notch, first rate. It is. They're it beautiful. Is beautiful. They are. And the way they packed them. Oh yeah. my gosh. And then you know the handles, the handle grips are are a leather. I, I think they're leather, either that or a fake leather. But they're they're actually uh, tied leather mm -hmm. uh, hand grips on them, and and they're very comfortable. The color display is very readable, even in bright sunlight. Yeah. Had yes. no issues mm -hmm. at all reading no. the the display. Uh, the brakes, the hydraulic disc brakes, are amazing. It is. They yeah. they will stop you quickly, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the suspension on them, along with the four inch fat tires, is top notch. I was very impressed with that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just excited to put these things to the test. Um, we told Magicycle, you know, that we would do this this video, and we can we are planning on on continuing on and giving you our thoughts as as we progress down the road. But so far, we're very, very impressed. And if we weren't, we would have sent it back. Oh, absolutely. And we would not be telling you about them. So right. we're just very, very impressed, our initial thoughts, and, and we're going to have a good time with them. So look for some more videos to come down the road on our excursions with these and our experiences and our thoughts. Yes. So anyway, we really appreciate you guys coming along. Oh, by the way, Magicycle has given us uh, a code for $100 off any single bike or $300 off any two bikes and uh, we'll put the link for that down below and we'll also put a link on the Magicycle website down below so if you want to go take a look at the Magicycles you can go take a look at them. We're just so so happy with with these bikes so far and, and we're excited to, to show you what we find out. So we're gonna wrap this one up from Montana, somewhere in Montana. Somewhere in Montana. I have no idea where. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.